All right, so last week we played a feature on Newton Marshall, a professional dog sled musher who's been competing since 2010. Now, he's Jamaica's first sled dog racer in history, which is no surprise to compete in the most dangerous sled dog race in the world. He's now in Alaska. Wow. Newton, can you hear us? Yeah, man, I can hear you. And you can... Good morning, I, well, Jamaica. Good well, morning, I can... Simon. <laughs> 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 never, never, never. <laughs> See this again. Never. No, he did not yeah. deliberately because we were talking before and he called me Simon. <laughs> so he did not deliberately. Uh, I thank you so much because apparently it's very early in the morning in Alaska. What, 3 o'clock now in, in Alaska? Yep, it's 3 o'clock this morning. Um, they're very cold. Um, um, I had to make a fire this morning to keep myself warm. What's, what's the temperature now? It's about 8 degrees right now. So, 8 um, degrees. Very cold. Eight, eight yep. degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. Um, you were telling us before that you don't live there, but you go back and forth. So why are you there now? Because you're not racing um, this year, are you? No, I'm not racing this year because, you know, it, it, it takes a, a lot of funding to, to do this race. It, um, it's almost like a $100,000 to get yourself in gear and race fee and everything. Okay. So, you know, meeting a couple of people to put things together. I've been talking to some Jamaicans um, um, to get some funding and, and get try to get some money. And get yourself ready for next year. 100,000? Yeah, for 100,000 Jamaican yeah, or U.S. dollars? No, man, U.S. dollar, man. Explain to money that. Tell us what the race was like, that most dangerous race. What was it like for you? Well, um, it was, um, for me, it was man and dog against nature. And um, the wilderness is something that, you know, it, it can be very deadly, detrimental to both me and the dogs. So the dog has to run for both me and themselves to, to survive out in temperatures like 54 below. That's the coolest I've been in. And... Uh, yeah, it's um, it's a it's a thousand mile dog sled race across Alaska. However, I did two races. Um, one in the Yukon, it's called Yukon Quest, and it's from um, White Horse Yukon, Alaska, White White Horse Yukon to Fairbanks, Alaska, and um, um, and then the other one was um, the Iditarod. Which is another thousand mile dog race. Were you and afraid? They, you know, they go over. Were you scared? Um, no, I'm not afraid. Um, because I had the dogs there. However, I was um afraid a couple times just like crossing the Bering Sea, um, and you, you know, you're on top of the ocean, so you kind of, you know, be kind of scared. That is amazing. Why, Newton? The first question yeah. we should have asked why? You is why? 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 <laughs> it. <laughs> Yeah. It, 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 um, I mean, for me, I've never competed in any, any form of sports in my life. And um, in this sport, I, I grew to, to love it. At, at first, I just wanted the opportunity to, to go abroad and do something and, and make something out of it. And I, I found myself like falling in love with this sport and wanted to do more and do and do better in it. So I've been trying over the years, the last um, 10 years to, you know, get dogs or try to stay over here so I can have my personal dogs. And then I would have a great team. Yep. How were you introduced to it in the first yeah. place? How were you introduced to it in the first place? So how, where did this come from? Um, I was working at Chaka Adventure Tours and, um, and they, they found out that dogs can run on dry land, um, not only snow, um, Danny Melville. So he, you know, it was a great idea for his company and he started the Jamaica Dogs team. Um, and it, it went on good. It was a big boost and, you know, we got um, support from um, a lot of um, big people because, you know, Danny has contacts. So. <laughs> So we got we got some good funding and you know we, we make it happen we, we make it happen for the country and for 
you know, for myself, it was huge for me because it was something that I, I've, I've never dreamt of. I've never even seen it before mm -hmm. when I started. So it was something brand new for me. All right, so um, you started this you know, brand new journey. You went out, you decided to do this thousand mile journey in day and night. I'm sure it's very dark at night because there are no lights. It's not like street lights exist. Were you ever injured? Yeah. Did you get hurt? I, I, got, I got frostbite on my nose and I got frostbite on my cheek. And, you know, at some point I thought I was going to die because it was wind that was blowing about 70 miles per hour and you're on the dogs on the mountain ridge and you know there were several times i thought that you know this was it but i mean we 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 conquer what we went out there to do and you know we did a we did a job we did a job they listened to me they do what I, exactly what i tell them i didn't have to use a whip or anything so um but it was it was so awesome the way the dogs wanted to do it. Not just only me, but we were a team out yeah. there. You, you, said you, know, you, you said you got... You said you got... Yeah, you said you got frostbite. You said there were a couple of times you thought you were going to die. I know when they do like road races in Jamaica, you have the ambulance uh, behind the runners mm -hmm. just in case. Is, is there any kind of stuff like that if you fall if you get hurt is there anyone close enough that could help you out quickly no it's just <laughs> man and dogs again wow. nature. there was um there is no ambulance there's no there's nobody there to help you however they they have a, a track on your sled so if there is anything wrong and you you know you need help you can press the button and just wait until they get there um yeah. but there is there is no two-way communication on the race. Yeah. Um, you have to fend for yourself out there. And you, you, you're in the middle of nowhere. You know, yeah. there is no cell service out there. Yeah. Um, I, it's, I read it's, that. Um, it's, I, it's, it's, it sounds very crazy. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. It is kind of crazy. <laughs> but I read that in one of the races, I think, that uh, one of your competitors got hurt and you actually hung around to help. Yes, um, he, yeah, he was uh, the most in mortician, so he, he has a funeral home, and he broke his leg, um, his ankle, I think, and and I was passing, I think several people passed him, and oh, wow. um, I stopped, and, you know, it, it was, it was, the trail was really bad at that time, and there was nobody around, so mm. I stopped to help him, and Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, he, he was crying a lot. He, he wanted to, you know, so it was cold. I had to put on his a pair of socks and put him in a different suit and wow. um, put him in a sleeping bag and wow. yeah, get that's him warm. Fantastic. Um, and, and just, that's brilliant. You told us that um, you go back and forth. Can you train in Jamaica? And if so, how do you train in Jamaica if you do? Oh, there is no way to train in Jamaica. All, all training happens when, it, when it's up here. So I have to get used to the weather outside. And, you know, just be, just, um, it, it's mostly bonding um, and never. It, 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 has to, it has to do with you and the dog. Because if you don't have that um, connection with the dogs, you won't finish the race. So there, there has to be a connection because it's a thousand mile dog set race. And, you know, they have to love you. They have to respect you. Um, so it, it, it goes a, a, a long way. So we have to have a two-way communication with the dogs. Right. Is this something that you would want to see more Jamaicans participate in? And how would you encourage them to do that? Well, in, you know, first, it's trying to build something up here that, you know, we could um, get Jamaicans, like young Jamaicans, because they have um, a small race for teenagers that they can start off and get them, um, get them um, like public scholarship. They don't, they don't win money, but they win different stuff for colleges and, and so forth. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's just trying to get it go on here, just build something here. And I'm just trying to get my stay up here first and then I can work on other things. Yeah. Okay. And, you know, 
get get Jamaicans over here um, as a teenager and start from there and you know we can do great things that way. Fantastic. Final question, Newton. You said one thousand miles. How long did it take you? It took me um, twelve to thirteen days. Um, twelve to not, thirteen yeah. days. Yep. But but how Night long? And, and in that twelve to thirteen days, how many times you stop? What kind of sleep you get? What what you do? How 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 you work it out? Um, um sometimes you don't know, get you know sleep you know um it's um you know sometimes you sleep for an hour or so and then you continue going. An hour per you day. An hour uh, per day. Yeah, sometimes you get that. Oh. Yeah, it's, it, it's not necessarily you're going to get it, but sometimes you sleep for five minutes and it you go like until you, you have to stop. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and you know sometimes you have food in your in your pocket and you can't even eat it the way it's so cool. Oh my gosh! Wow. Um, yeah, you just have to just wait until you get somewhere warm. Yeah, yeah. Re Regin, but, I am so impressed. I am so impressed amazing. with you. Um, amazing. Congratulations! I I, I pray that. Whether you win or not, you complete the next one. Safely. Uh, yeah, man. And, well, uh, and then you can well, talk to us again and tell them, that, say, you know, Neville, not Simon, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And, and, you know, you know, I, I, you know I, I have a dream in my head that, you know, one day I, will, I know I can win. And I know I will win one of these days. Just. I, I I'm pray. just giving it time. Yeah, man, I, I pray that you do. Thanks a lot, Newton. And, and stay, I was going to say stay warm, but I don't know if that is possible. <laughs> Same <much. laughs> in, in eight degrees. So look after yourself, all right? Yeah, man, no problem. And, and, right, and let, us know, I, let us know. Let us know. Can I big up my sisters? Yeah, man, you can big up anybody, them, man. Yeah, man, so I want to big up Kamla, um, my sister. Her name is Cleone Marshall, Monique Marshall. Um, Ashley Marshall, Melissa Marshall, and my father, Wallace Marshall, and right. plus my grandmother, my sweet, sweet grandmother. Sweet, Pico, sweet grandmother. Um, Miss Penny. Yeah, man. I, 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 I hope they're watching and, and they heard that. But uh, thank you so much you for getting up now. at 3 a.m. to speak with us. And, and you'll be safe. Yeah, man, no problem. All right, my friend. Take I care. I remember your name, Neville. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'll forget that. All right. Thank thanks, you. Bye-bye. Very yeah, nice. Uh, Newton Marshall, wow. sled dog racer. They call him a musher. A 13-day race in 75-mile-per-hour freezing That's wind. That's insane. Ooh. We can't even take when it cool a mandible much as <laughs> we go through that. Well, He's I mean, amazing. The, the, the cold is one thing, but 13 days? And he no says you sleep maybe for really five minutes food. in a day? That's, 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 that's amazing. Well, this job kind of easy. I know. I'll wait cold in here, but... <laughs> <laughs> Not smart to smile about on the other side of the break. We soak up. Go on, man. Let's see if you don't get cooler. <laughs>